Hey everyone, this is Fran from the 5 Minute Modeler, and today I'm going to share how I used AI to solve a frustrating and complex issue with my NCE PowerCab and JMRI. It's a problem others might face, and the solution is something I'd like to share. And stay tuned to the end for a bonus tip on adding sound to your layout. My layout is powered with the NCE PowerCab. I have roughly 100 feet of main line, two yards, two passing sidings, and about a dozen locomotives. I also use JMRI and have used the Y throttle and JMRI throttles to run multiple trains at any given time. I really like the power cab and chose it for the variety of options that it has, including the ability to connect to a computer with JMRI. I have used the Y throttle for some time, but always seem to have issues where the throttle would disconnect causing me to lose control of a train. Because of this, I also bought an extra NCE throttle to improve operations. After I had connected the new throttle along with three plug-in panels, my Y throttle or JMI throttles stopped working entirely. I didn't notice this right away, but discovered it after some time. This was a problem not only for operating multiple trains, but making speed matching of my locomotives nearly impossible. I reached out to the traditional support channels like the JMRI group and NCE directly, but without success. The idea of writing long emails to troubleshoot was also exhausting. So I turned to one of the AI tools. My preference is Gemini by Google, but there are others as well. Here was the first prompt that I provided. Basically, I started by giving the AI this detailed prompt outlining my setup and the specific problem I was having. The AI acted like a digital expert, providing troubleshooting steps. I worked through the steps, provided information when it didn't work, what responses I was getting, etc. The more details I provided, like the USB panel flashes two red lights when a command is issued, the more refined the solutions became. It eventually led me to that aha moment, a cab-bus conflict. I had no idea that each cab device needed a unique ID to avoid conflicts. My USB interface and my new throttles were both set to the same default ID. Using AI was invaluable to solving this problem. To be fair to the manufacturers, some of this information was in the manuals. But one would need to know that multiple cabs required multiple IDs and it wasn't very clear about that, at least to me. In the end, AI was great because it provided instant answers for me to test, and it stuck with me until I had resolved the issue. Now for the bonus tip. Connecting your NCE system to JMRI also unlocks another cool feature, the Virtual Sound Decoder. This tool adds realistic locomotive and train sounds to your layout, all controlled by your throttles. It's a great way to add another dimension without a lot of extra cost or wiring. This feature is located on the Panel Pro module under Tools, then Virtual Sound Decoder. The JMRI instructions are pretty helpful in getting it to work, and the sounds are pretty believable. There is also functionality to add your own sounds, as well as having the sounds travel across your layout. But that's above my pay grade, but still a cool feature for some. So AI helped me resolve this conflict on my layout, and has greatly enhanced my operating pleasure. Because the tethered throttles can only reach so far, the Y throttles make walking around with the train a joy, and not having to purchase additional throttles saves money for more trains. This flexibility is worth the effort, and hopefully now you won't run into the same issues I had. So until next time, thanks for watching another episode of the 5-Minute Modeler.